Three, two, one, and we're back. And we're back. And Another we're weekly update. Another weekly update. So this week was actually pretty eventful. But um, first things first, it is pouring out, so I apologize if you pick up any rain noise. Um, as you can, I mean, it's just, it's pouring out. But it's been a very awesome week because I hit a 1,000 followers this week, which is crazy because um, we, I mean. Uh, how many months ago? Maybe four. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was sometime in July. Yeah. Yeah. Like four months ago. I mean, it was crazy. So I started the Instagram four months ago, and I'm already at 1,000. Yeah. Um, and it's so crazy. I, I mean, I know it's not that many, but, like, for me, that seems like that's yeah. just such a crazy milestone to hit 1,000 so quickly. Um, I didn't think I would hit it this quickly. I thought maybe I would get 1,000 by Christmas or a little after, but I got it before Thanksgiving, which is incredible. Um, okay, so uh, a couple notes. Couple notes. To so go over. Um, uh, I'm gonna start doing this cool thing. I'm gonna start putting out videos on the uh, on my YouTube channel where the podcast is being shown. Um, so if you're listening on the like Apple Podcast or Spotify or anything, go to the YouTube channel, which is always linked in my. Uh, my bio on my Instagram, and um, you'll be able to listen to these, uh, or, like, bonus videos, I guess I call them. They're just, like, how-to videos, because um, especially in the winter, I do things that I think are very uh, interesting, because for organization, mostly, because during the winter, I don't do uh, really any fishing. Um, I know a lot of people go fish for panfish and ponds and stuff, but I and I do too. But like I don't really do that a lot of that in, during the winter. Um, so what I like to do is uh, I like to organize my gear, and I do that very like constantly. Like there's always something I can be doing, and that's what I think of. Like the entire year, I can either be cleaning hooks, organizing lures, tying flies. I mean, there's always stuff that I'm doing during the winter during the winter and I have created quite the collection of plugs this yeah, <laughs> this, this year. year. So um, I, I'm actually going to be putting out a video at some point, probably within the next week, of how I organize my plugs, which is a, a little bit different from a lot of people and I think is quite interesting. Um, and so I think a lot of people will be interested in what I actually do uh, during the winter. And I think that it's helpful to because number one, you'll be able to uh, apply these um, strategies that I use during the winter to get ready for next season, and you'll be able to do the same. And you know, it passes time in the winter when you would love to be fishing, but so you can at least still do some type of fishing-related activity, uh, whether that be you know tying leaders or sharpening hooks or you know organizing plugs. Um, I do a lot of like. I tie a lot of my leaders ahead of time, but at the same time, I I, I would say like if you're gonna tie leaders early in the like um, early into the uh, winter, we yeah try to do them earlier in the winter yeah. when you're fresher at tying knots. I mean I know some people can well I mean you never lose it, but I tend to think that your knots are better when you're fresh off of tying them. Yeah. Um, what else was that? Well, the other so like other videos that you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. put out on the YouTube. Yeah, so I was gonna talk about uh, like the knots that I use um, for and like go in depth on how to tie a few different knots that I use. Um, I probably use maybe three knots. Um, I use the um, improved clench for my leader to like hook or um, like uh, lure clip. Uh, I use we, um, we in one of the podcasts there there is a in one of the podcasts there is a, a video of of you tying an improved clench knot. Yeah. I'm not sure when that's going to come out relative to this weekly update, yeah. but it's it's there on in one yeah. of them. Yeah, because I, I I tied a um yeah I, t- I I don't know how it is and how it looked when I sh- like tied it, but yeah, but doing an official video will be yeah better. I'll be able yeah. to show you exactly how you tie the knots and. What I use, I also use um, the polymer. I guess it is, yeah, it's the polymer knot, which is a very popular knot. Uh, it's just lined. It's like it's what I use for my braid to really anything. I've never had it like like fail, fail on, on me. Yeah. Um, 
and so that's a another great knot and then sometimes i use an fg knot but not that often uh because it's super hard to tie and i think that it uh gives you more wind knots um I know people are going to be like, no, it doesn't, and I use it all the time, it yeah. doesn't, but I've just found and that it's given me more wind knots when I try to do an FG knot, and yeah. uh, I don't know, I just think that generally you can get away with just tying a three or four foot leader and yep. uh, tying it to a barrel swivel, and it's generally good. Yeah. Are you going to do, uh, like any, you, we keep saying it, but are you going to do any yeah. eel eel situation? So, the deal, the deal about the, the deal eel. The deal with the eel. <laughs> the deal with the eel. Um, is, uh, I have eels in the fridge, freezer, freezer. um, and, uh, which are huge. And I've talked about this in other podcasts. Yeah. I have these two absolutely massive eels. I'm going to save one to do, uh, like a little short video clip about, and I'm going to use the other during, I'm going to actually rig it during the podcast. Um, and but I just need rigging floss and uh, some giant hooks because what I'm talking about these e these um, eels are like probably maybe three inches thick. Yeah. Like three inch thick eels. Just put that into perspective how big huge. those eels are. Huge. They're like a pound. Yeah. Each eel's a pound. It's huge. So it'll be so it's gonna be good because it'll be a large version of um, what you like what a lot of people use. But at the same time, I caught up like a 45 inch bass on on those eels before i mean both of these eels i've caught multiple fish on and then used Re and, yeah and, and now i'm using them for preserving uh, them preserving them for rig for a rigged eel and i'll show you how i rig eels because um it's it's definitely like uh like if you want to catch a giant fish you and you if you use anything that involves an eel it generally works because mm -hmm. the bass really like to eat eels especially really big bass love eels yeah. so if you use anything whether it be an eel skin lure or it be a um like a rig deal or even a, you know obviously a live eel but um all of those are just i mean absolutely amazing you know lures and plugs for uh catching giant fish so i'm gonna probably run through a whole bunch of that stuff uh super excited to you know show everybody how i rig eels and stuff uh because yeah. i think i do it in a kind of unique way that evol involves like a couple of different techniques i what i really actually need is a rigging needle and a um and some floss yeah uh, that's pretty much all i need but uh i have so i have to get on amazon but um, um, so yeah, so just stay tuned, I guess, for some of those upcoming in yeah. the next month or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so then the other kind of bigger announcement is um, we're going to at some point within the next week or two uh, come out with some clothes, uh, like just a design, t-shirt yeah. design. But it's gonna be um, for a uh, it's gonna be for the TV show. So these shirts are gonna help us um make the tv shows best and when you and for those who aren't like hardcore listeners to the podcast, podcast. The, the the tv show you're referring to is is your plan for this coming summer yeah so we're making what we're calling the tv show because it's going to be in a tv show like um, format format uh it's going to be like every two weeks regular episodes uh, it's going to be or like every week it's going to be a regular episode um of just like of me striped bass fishing um and uh and as well as other like fishing yeah. but um it's gonna be a sh it's gonna be really awesome because it's gonna be filmed in really high quality and it's gonna it's just yeah. gonna be awesome and you'll be able to see how i my techniques for fishing yeah. uh and more in depth which is gonna be awesome because uh when i was first starting out i didn't know anything about my area and about how to fish my area so um, not that any, not a lot of people fish in my area, but the ways that I fish might be, you might be able to apply to your areas and your techniques yep. to further your fishing. Yeah. Um, so you're gonna, are, are we gonna be able to put up the 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 um, t-shirts on the on the on this version of the podcast? Um. Yeah, we should have them done before you post this. So. So you'll be able to like flash them up on the screen. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. So, so we have, we have our advanced tech support. So <laughs> yeah. maybe we'll be able to flash them up on the screen. Yeah. So we're putting out this cool design. Um. Which it's is gonna be it's here. Which is here. And if it's not here, <laughs> I'll just describe it. If you're listening to it, um, it's a fish. Like it's a striped bass, but the striped bass um is made out of 
um, SBH, which is the initials for striped bass hunt, for striped bass hunt, and the letters make up the striped bass. Yeah. Um, and that will be like on the front of the T-shirt, and on the back of the T-shirt, it's gonna be big bass only with the period. Yeah. Um. So, which I think is an awesome yeah. little slogan, and yeah. so um, that that's gonna be the T-shirt, uh, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be. And on like a, it's gonna be a really cool design, and yeah. I I really like it. And hopefully you guys can ho- at least get one, pick one up, just to help us out for help making this uh, TV show possible because mm-hmm. um, it's it'd not, be a little higher budget than yeah than, than it, what we're doing now, which is still gonna be great, but it's yeah. gonna help us out so much more if you can buy it. Up. It's an awesome looking T-shirt, and if you can, uh, and it it'll help it'll help support help. the mm-hmm. the operation. Yes. Yep. So um, as far as that goes, I really want to thank you guys again for getting me to 1,000 followers. I know it's not that much, but for me, it's like a big milestone. Um, so that's really awesome. And it's so cool because I have so much going on behind the scenes. And uh, it's going to be in the next few months, a yeah. lot of things are going to be dropping. People, yeah. You're going to figure out a lot, of, a, new, a lot of new stuff is going to be coming out. Yeah, so, we're, you're just getting things rolling at this yeah. point. And it feels like a lot already. Yeah, it does. So um, thank you so much for listening to the you know podcast. And if you are listening to the podcast, again, go to YouTube. There's going to be some awesome content uh, coming out on YouTube. Um, and so just keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Just keep an eye out for that. Um, is that, is that it or are there any other I, questions? I don't stuff? think I have any questions for this podcast because okay. we just did another one to use those questions. But, All right. All right. But, Sounds good. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for listening to this podcast. I know this is a much shorter podcast than a lot yeah. of the other ones. This is probably going to be like a 15 minute podcast. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, anyway, anyway, thank the, you guys for listening to the weekly update. Yep. And we will, you know, <laughs> we'll keep cranking, keep cranking them out. these things out. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you.